Okay. All right, hands together. Let's pray. Close your eyes, hands together. Well done. Good. Let's pray. All right, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for a new year. And we just pray, Lord, that you bless the time the children have this morning. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very good. Oh, I like the way you guys pray. Very good. Oh, review. Oh, that's a long time ago now. It's all the way in last year. Does anyone remember what we learned last year? In the last week? Here's a hint. Still nobody? No? Oh no. See, see how easy. How easy we forget. That's why we have to learn, we have to repeat again. Again and again, we forget things. So easy, don't we? We uh, forgot what we did last week. Forgot what we did the week before. Do you remember, Simon? About the five points of salvation. Yes. Very good. Very good. So what is the first one? First one is? Sin. It's sin. Black represents sin, doesn't it? We've all sinned by breaking God's law. Who remembers what the orange represents? Sarah, do you remember? Oh, <laughs> 24 orange. There you go. Yeah, well, it may look yellow on the lights. Orange. The fires of hell. That's it. God is holy, must punish sin. The punishment is hell. What about red? You remember, Abel? The blood. That's right. Jesus Christ died, took our punishment. That's what the red represents. What about the blue? Remember the blue, Timothy? Yeah, we wash, we believe. And blue washes away our sins like water, doesn't it? And what's the last one? Last one's green. Remember what green is? You remember green? Green? Green, Sarah? Good? No? Simon? Heaven? Close? I mean, it represents life. We think of the grass, we think of the trees, we think of life. And once we're saved, we're always saved. We have eternal life. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, but today, oh, we're starting over again. We're going back to the beginning. Back to the start of our Bible, all the way in Genesis. In the beginning. What happened in the beginning? Now, if you guys remember, we're going to look at our verse today. We're going to try and memorize it. We're going to try and memorize it. Now mine, Genesis 1, 1, very first verse in the Bible, Genesis 1, 1. It's easy to remember the reference. Genesis, the first book, 1, 1. Let's see what it says. In the beginning, this is where we get our title from. In the beginning, who? God created the heaven and the earth. You want to read that together? You ready? Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Oh, let's see if you can memorize that. Okay, because at the end, we're going to see, we're going to try and test some people. See if they can say it off by heart. Let's say it together one more time. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Created the heaven and the earth. There we go, there it is. Created the heaven and the earth in the very beginning. Now you know some people don't believe that God created the heaven and the earth. They just believe that it just came from nothing. You know that? But no, God created the heaven and the earth. It didn't just get made by nobody. Somebody had to make it. And it was God. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. How many days did God take to create all things? Let me see. How many days? Similarly, six days. And then what happened on the seventh day? Who remembers? Matea. He rested the seventh day. And that's where we get our seven-day week, don't we? So we use different names. For our days of the week, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this is where we get a seven day week because God created the earth in six days, or the, created all things in six days. And then on the seventh day, 
he rested. Right? And this is what we have as our week. Why we have seven days? Why is, it, why is a week seven days? Why isn't it 14 days? Why isn't it 10 days? Well, it's seven days because that's how God created the world in the beginning, the heaven and the earth. Okay, and God did it. Oh, who knows what this is? Hmm. Who knows what this is? You know what this is? Do you know the name? Do you know what it is? <laughs> Sarah, what is it? Well, that's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. That's right. What's the one in front? Who knows that one? Simon. Sydney Opera House. Sydney Opera House. Oh, who's been there? It's been. Oh, you guys have been there? You seen it? You seen it? Now, what if I told you nobody made this? Just, you know, after a long, long time, this metal just came up and then, you know, these, these things came up and just started making themselves. What would you think? Did you think I was a smart person or a silly person? What do you think, Sarah? <laughs> silly person. Of course somebody made this. You can see somebody's design. It didn't just happen by itself. Somebody had to build this. Somebody had to make it. You can see there's design in it. Right? Who knows what this is? This is a very famous painting. Do you know what this painting is? Yeah, it's a painting. Anyone know the name of this painting? Do you know the name of the painting? It starts with M. Do you know it? Mary? No? This is called the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa. It's a famous painting. I don't know why it's so famous. It looks pretty average to me. But... For some reason, everybody likes it. It's a very expensive painting. Now, do you know that nobody painted this painting? It just happened by, by, by chance. It's on its own. You don't believe me? You don't believe me that nobody painted this painting? No, of course somebody painted the painting. If you see a painting like this, you don't think that after millions of years, paint's just falling from the sky, and then look, makes this pretty lady. Some people think she's pretty. Do you guys think she's pretty? <laughs> Maybe back then they thought she was pretty. Of course somebody painted the painting. Silly of you. You can see something like this and think, believe that nobody painted it. One more example. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> what is that, you know? That's a jet. These jets, they fly super fast. They got missiles. Do you think somebody made this? Of course. You know what's funny about planes? Do you know that each individual part on this plane, none of it flies? You put it all together, and then it's able to fly. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Not one part on this jet flies by itself. And you put them all together, and they make this jet, and now it can fly. And do you think somebody made this? it made itself. Well, of course somebody made it. It's very complex. There's computers in there. You can see the missiles. They have to make this certain way, otherwise it won't be able to fly. Everything has to work. And they fly really fast. Did you know that? So, let me ask you. If a building has a builder, and a painting has a painter, and somebody had to make a jet in a plane, <coughs> What about you? Doesn't it make sense that, you know, our bodies, you think this is complex, complex machine. Who knows how to make a jet? I don't know how to make a jet. I wouldn't even know where to start. It's so complex. Do you know that? But you know, they are nowhere near as complex as you are. You are a living machine. There are things going on in your body. You don't have to think about it. It just happens. You think about, you know, when you eat, and then when you eat, it turns into other things, right? When you go to the toilet, you don't think about that. You don't think, okay, I've got to eat, and I've got to turn it into things, and then it just happens. You are a complex machine. Now, this complex machine has a maker as well, doesn't it? Who's that maker? Who is it? it starts with G. It starts with G. Jesus? G <laughs> Phonetically, yes, it starts with Jesus. No, <laughs> letter, so it's God, right? Jesus is God. Very good. So, who remembers the verse? We're going to have a look at it again quickly. And you can have a go at memorizing it. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis 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 1, verse 1.
Chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. What do you think you can do? Let me try to do it. You ready? Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Is that right? <laughs> okay, who wants to have a go? Who wants to have a go? Simon, you have a go. In the beginning. Well, you got to say the reference. Yeah. Chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Very good. Okay. Who else wants to have a go? Matea? Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Ah, it sounds like you've memorized this one before. <laughs> who else wants to have a go? Anyone here want to have a go? You want to have a go? Go. No? One more, one more, one more. Sarah, you want to have a go? No? How about Timothy? Very good. God created the heaven and the earth. So, very close. See, God created the heaven. Some people think it's heavens and the earth. No, just heaven and the earth. Very good. All right, today we're going to play some games. I hope you learned something today. And we remember, hey, is a building has a builder. Painting has a painter. Jet has somebody that makes it as well. It's more complex than us. Of course, we have a maker as well. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. All right, let's stand up. We'll go over here. Let's play some games.